Well, hi guys. It's a windy, chilly day here in western New York. And uh, I was watching some videos regarding uh, grocery store prices last night. And man, you guys, it is getting really bad out there. It's getting very expensive and summer's not even here yet. And it's just ludicrous what things cost today. It's just staggering. I'm going to show you some pictures in this video right here of a video I watched. And it is of uh, Whole Foods up in Buffalo, New York. Why in the world anyone would shop at this store is beyond me with the prices they have inside Whole Foods. Now, in case you don't know, Whole Foods is uh, owned by Amazon, greedy Jeff Bezos. And uh, it's ridiculous the prices they have in there. And yet there's people in there walking around with their shopping carts. And this is why things like this are happening and, and companies and stores are getting away with it is because people are paying the price. Why would they give them business? Why would they shop there when there's other stores that are less than half the cost of what Whole Foods is? You know, you guys, this economy is only going to get worse until we get rid of this administration. And the thing I worry about is that uh, the Democrats know that they're losing. They've got nothing to stand on. They've got no campaign to run on. They've got nothing to talk about because they've done nothing. They've done absolutely nothing. They have coasted through the last several years, allowing everything to get out of hand, everything to go to hell with our border, our economy, the cost of everything. And uh, I think they're going to sabotage what's left of the economy. I really do. Because when they know that they're not going to be able to hold power anymore, they're going to just uh, trash what's left of this economy that's limping along. Um, gas prices are not going to be coming down. Um, these prices are not coming down. Uh, companies can't make it. The small companies. Fast food chains are suffering, um, especially in California because of the recent uh, minimum wage increase to $20 an hour, which I think is by design because I think it, it gives these companies the excuse to go with AI services so they don't have to pay their employees anymore. It's just a way to eliminate the poor. This economy is to wipe out the poor like COVID was to eliminate the middle class. And they're eliminating the, the classes that are beneath the elites. And that's what this is all about. It's to put us all out of business. It's to make us all bankrupt, to make us all poor. And they're doing nothing about it. <clears throat> nothing about it at all. This is why we desperately need Trump, because there is no Democrat out there that has a leg to stand on that can tell anybody with a brain today why the Democratic Party is worth keeping. They have absolutely nothing to say about what Biden has done. He's done absolutely nothing. He's asleep at the wheel, brain dead, doesn't even know how to run a country, let alone a lemonade stand. People need to boycott these places that are charging these exorbitant amounts of money for products that are only a fraction at your lesser stores like Dollar General, all these uh, tops. People are going broke. People are maxed out on their credit cards. People are uh, late on their payments with their vehicles and their mortgage. This country's gone to hell, you guys. And all these immigrants coming across the, the border are all from Saudi Arabia, Iran, Iraq. You don't see women, you don't see children. These are all military age men that are just pouring by the hundreds of thousands across the southern border and nothing being done about that either. This is all by design to get votes. This is all by design to screw this country because they hate this country. They hate our freedom. They hate the freedom of speech. They hate what we stand for. We are being infiltrated from within. They are the enemy of this country, and it's only going to get worse. And I believe they're going to sabotage this economy before uh, Trump gets elected. So, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys are seeing in your area. But I'm going to leave a link to a video down below where this guy goes inside Whole Foods up in Buffalo, New York. You guys won't believe. You will not believe the prices inside uh, this store. I even saw another one of his videos where a store was selling a gallon of 2% milk. A gallon of 2% milk. And they wanted $16 for the gallon of milk. Unbelievable. I never thought I'd see prices like this in my lifetime. 
So anyway, you guys, I'll leave the link down below. Check it out. You won't believe it. You'll have sticker shock when you see this video. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.